let's take a look at question 10. Well, question 10 tells us that find an interval centered at zero, find interval centered at x equal to zero, such that the initial value problem has a unique solution. So this is the second derivative of y plus tangent x, y equals to e to the x, and the conditions is y at zero is equal to one, and y prime at zero is equal to zero. So we need to find a unique, we need to find the interval around zero such that this differential equation has a unique solution. Now let's go back to the theorem about having a solution and it be unique for initial value problem. So for an initial value problem, let a and x and the rest of the coefficients a sub zero x and also gx for the nth order differential equation a n x the n derivative of y plus the middle terms a sub one x y prime plus a sub zero x equals to g of x let all of these be continuous on an interval like i. So continuity is the key that we are going to focus on, on interval i, such that the leading coefficient a n is not zero. Then this theorem guarantees that we're going to have a unique solution for initial value problem on i. Then the initial value problem has a unique solution on i. So continuity is the key for us. What do we have here? We have a2x, the second derivative of y, plus a. So a1 of x is just 0 plus a sub 0x, y equals to e to the x. This is just zero. You have a2x, which is one. We're good with this guy, but a sub zero x is tangent, tangent of x, and g of x is equal to e to the x. This is also continuous everywhere. But when it comes to a sub zero x equals to tangent of x, we have to be careful. This is a trig function, which is from continuous. For example, if you take the famous interval, negative pi over two and pi over two, then you have continuity for your tangent. Well, by using this definition, which is centered at zero, this interval centered at zero. And the function, this guy is continuous on this interval and one and e to the x are continuous everywhere. So now following the theorem, this theorem guarantees that on this interval, initial value problem has unique solution.